Hi, we, we are, are the cast, cast of Blue. If you want to check out what happens prior to this new episode, please check out our comic book version of Bloob over at Carter Comics, as well as our website, www.bloob.com, to see the adventures before this new episode. We hope you enjoy this new episode, and thank you for all your support. So that's why I don't like Valentine's Day. So let me get this right. This so-called Valentine's Day is a holiday where two people showcase they love to one another for like the whole day? Pretty much. And you don't like this day because you have no one to showcase your love to? Okay, well, I wouldn't say it like that. I've never had anybody to share this day with. What am I? What you must call chopped liver? You can share this day with me. <laughs> Okay, that's not what I meant. It's just Valentine's Day is a very intimate day and you know people go out and buy crap for each other and you might get a kiss out of it at the end of the day. Whoa, time out. What's a kiss? You don't know what a kiss is? Uh, if I did, do you think I'd be wasting my breath asking you what it is if I knew what it was? Okay, sorry Blue, but I just figured an alien of your intelligence would know what a kiss was. Brody, are you home? Blue, get out of here now. Scram. No problem. Brody, I thought I told you to clean up this house. You got dishes all over the counter, your laundry's not done. What's going on? Mom and Dad are gonna be here soon. Lisa, I said I'd do it. You should definitely get to it, but you said that this morning and it's not done. Okay, I'll get to it. Thanks, like now would be great. Dude, Thanks. what's up your butt? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, seriously, if you're gonna lie to me, just tell me what's going on. I hate today. Hey, why's that? Why do you think? It's Valentine's Day, and I can't stand all the couples, and the, the gifts, and the sweet kisses, and... It's just not my thing, you know? Guys, help me hide. What have I told Please. you? I know, Lisa. Knock at the front door like a normal human being, which I totally would have. But this was an emergency. I couldn't risk getting caught waiting at the front door. Caught by who? Who's after you? Dude, is it the FBI guys? Why is the FBI after you? Long story. <laughs> Worse. Worse? Who, man? Chloe. <laughs> Stop. Chloe? That girl from down the street? What? Yeah. <laughs> they have a thing ever since my 12th birthday party when they played Truth or Dare. He made out with her and she kind of fell in love with him. You made out with her when you were 12. No. Derek. No, no, no. no. <sighs> it was an innocent kiss and I barely kissed her. And come to come to think of it, it, it was you who dared me to kiss her. Yeah, I did. That's pretty funny. <laughs> funny. Oh, haha. Yeah. Ha, ha. yeah, thanks to you, I have a stalker for life. Come on, I didn't know that your kiss was going to be electrifying. Uh, did, you know, <laughs> dude, okay, listen, I didn't kiss her. Kiss her. I mean, did your lips touch her lips? Technically, yeah, yes, oh. yes, but for like a quick second. Chances are, you do have a stalker for life. If your lips touch her lips, at least until she finds another boy to kiss. Is that how it works? How would you know? You've never been kissed by a boy or had a boyfriend. <laughs> just, just shut up. Just shut up. Okay, wait, 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 hey, wait. So you never kissed a boy or had a boyfriend before? I mean, no. It's kind of fine. Come to think of it, though, I don't ever recall seeing either one of you with a girlfriend, <laughs> so I'm not sure why. Oh yeah, that would you be the point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? What was... What? Stop. What is... Who's laughing? Who is that? Dude, I don't know. I think you're just hearing things, honestly. Yeah. Hearing stuff. Stop. For real, you guys. What's who, What's going on? Okay, listen. No one's laughing. That's just my cell phone. It's, that's a, it has a laughing ringtone on it. So I'm... Yeah. your cell phone. Let me check. Um, uh, uh, oh, Derek, my prince. Are you in there? Please tell you never saw me, and I'm not here. Oh, Derek, I know you're in here. 
Hey. Hi, Chloe. Chloe. Hey. Hi, Brody. Hi, Lisa. I'm sorry to barge in like this. It's just that I'm desperately searching for my Prince Charming, and I know I saw him come back here. Prince Charming? Uh, who, uh, who might that be? Well, it's only my one true love. Okay, could you give us a more accurate description, please? Well, he's tall, and he's dark, and he's handsome. Hmm, see? We know somebody who's tall and dark. Yeah, I don't... He's definitely not handsome, so I don't know what the... Don't know Cut the bull, Brody. You know who I'm talking about. Now, where is my Derek? Hey, just relax, Chloe. I didn't see him today. <clears throat> Lisa... I know that Brody's just gonna cover for his best friend, but between us girls, have you seen my Derek? I know you have an honest heart that's full of integrity and you would never ever lie to me because you know how much I look up to you. You know, I, why do you want to see him so bad anyway? Well, number one, why wouldn't I want to see his cute little face? And number two, I really want to give him his Valentine's Day gift. His gift? And what is his gift? Well, me. <laughs> I see. She's his friend. In that case, I think I saw him. Lisa, I can't believe you're about to write me out. <gasps> There's my Prince Charming. Uh, Happy Valentine's Day, my dear Prince. Hi, Chloe. Somebody, please help me. I'm here to rescue you out of here. You want me to zap her off for you? Bloop, no. Thought Derek said he needed some help. Blue, I didn't mean it like that. What is that? Blue thing talking. Okay, girls, I, I know this looks like, um, but we can explain. You can explain. Can you explain before mom and dad can? Yes, I can. I hope so. Where should I start? I'd say from the beginning, when I crashed into your poo. Okay, thanks, Blue. I think I can take it from here. So, well, a couple months ago, Derek and I were hanging out in the backyard when... Yeah, so that's it in a nutshell. So you're saying the only ones that know about Bloob are us and Jared the pool guy? Oh, and uh, don't forget uh, uh, Professor Y, yeah. And speaking of Professor Y, Brody, have you heard from him? I mean, we haven't heard from him in a long time. Yeah, and my ship is still missing. I keep telling you guys, you probably found a way to reconvert my ship into its normal size and either sold us out to the feds and is in hiding. Or maybe he started to sell my ship's parts on that website you humans call eBay. You know what eBay is? Uh, doesn't everybody? It's where you humans sell almost anything and everything on there. And I mean everything. There's this one time I was checking on the site and I noticed someone selling some used underwear. Claiming it was worn by... Wait, hold on a second, Blue. Derek, you got me thinking. Professor Y, he wouldn't just leave without letting us know. Unless the feds actually got to him. Wait a minute, the FBI is actually onto you guys? Uh, didn't you just hear Brody tell you the whole story? Uh, are you always as much of a wise guy? Yeah, yeah. he yeah. is. <laughs> Wait a second. Blue, why can't you just zap in Professor Y like you did last time? Yeah, that's a good idea. You're right. Why well, didn't I think of that? No need to fear, I get him right here. Dang it. What's wrong? I don't know. This has never happened to me before. The only time an interference may occur is if he happened to be surrounded by some, uh, I don't know, uh, some kind of magnetic force field or by some major concrete or something of that nature. So like where a government would keep aliens or UFOs? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What are you guys thinking? Well, Professor Y was taken to a place like Area 51, and we have to go get him. Yeah, we need to get Jared and come up with a plan. Yeah, you're right. Luke, can you zap in Jared? I'm on it. No need to fear. I get him right here. Whoa. You see? I still got it. Blue, look, I was in the middle of ordering two scoops of chocolate chip ice cream at Baskin Robbins when you beamed me down here. Couldn't you at least wait till I got my ice cream first? Derek, there's something more important than that. Derek, come on, what's more important than two scoops of chocolate chip ice cream on a hot day like this? Come on. 
You think we know where they took Professor Y? Oh yeah, where? Area 51. Area 51, why would you think that? Well, we haven't seen them for a while and uh, we think the, the feds might have picked them up. So, what do you want me to do about it? It's not like we could go to the police guys and say anything about this. And if the feds did pick up Professor Y and take him to Area 51, it's not like we could just go stroll in over there. I mean, the only time we could get into Area 51, guys, is if we, like, become invisible or something like that or get beamed into some place like that. Uh, Jared, who do you think you talking to? You talking to an alien that just beamed you over here from Basket Robbins. I know, I may have not been able to get Professor Y beamed back in here, but I certainly think I can beam us all into this so-called Area 51. So you think you can beam us into Area 51, Blue? Are we in the Grand Canyon? Grand Canyon? No, why? Because, for some reason, I keep hearing the echo of my own voice. Yes, I can beam us all into this Area 51. Even us? Wait, uh, look, look, it's fine. They explained everything, and your secret's safe with us. Right, Chloe? Right. Well, it's not like I could do anything about it now, guys. So, you guys ready to go? You mean, like, right now? When were you guys thinking? Well, after Valentine's Day, because I want to spend the whole day with my Valentine. <laughs> you know, I, I think now would be like a really good time to go, like, like right now. Blue, do us out. Hold on, hold on. Time out. Time out. I just feel like I'm being used, like some kind of magical genie. And you guys are just telling me what to do whenever you want me to do it. You guys never asked me what I want to do. Yeah, guys, Bloob's right. Aliens have feelings, too. You guys should feel ashamed of yourself using Bloob like this. Oh, uh, Chloe, I'm starting to like it. Aw, me too. Now, can you keep my prince here for as long as you can? No problem. Anything for you. All right, y'all, here's the deal, all right? I'll do whatever you guys want me to do after you guys teach me and play that one game you guys was talking about earlier. What game is that? So, this is when I ask her truth or dare, right? That's right. All right, Lisa. Um, truth or dare? Um, I'm gonna go with the truth. Um, is it true that you've never been kissed by a boy before? What time out? How did you even know that? Uh, I was eavesdropping while I was invisible when you, Brody, and Derek were talking earlier. Awesome. Great. Well, as sad as it sounds, Blue, but yeah, that's true. Really? Really, really. As pathetic as that is, that's part of the reason I hate this game. I hate Valentine's Day. Wow, that's not right. A pretty girl like you should have already been kissed. It's magical. Just like when my prince kissed me for the first time. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't kiss you like you think I kissed you, Chloe. It was just a peck. That's <laughs> Did your lips touch each other? Here we go again. Yes, Blue, but... <laughs> then, by human standards, I've learned that's what a kiss is. Exactly, Blue. So like I said, it was magical. Okay, I'm excited. It's my turn. Oh, you're so mad on me. Uh, okay, Jared, truth or dare? Uh, I guess I'll... I'll be daring and go for the dare. Now, hmm. oh, remember, Blue, uh, we don't dare anyone to do anything illegal or immoral. Got it. Nothing illegal or emo. Okay, Jared. I dare you to kiss Lisa. Uh, seriously? What's wrong with that? My sister's attractive. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Look, it's, no, she is attractive. It's just, uh, you know, uh, Brody, you know, it's like I've known you guys for Don't a year. Don't worry, it's fine. Jared, I'm used to it. You don't have to take the dare. This is why I hate this holiday. 
Really, it's fine. I'm so used to it. You if I kissed you, would be like... I understand. I get it. But trust me. It's fine. It, it, uh, no, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, I'll take the dare. It'll be fine. I mean, I'll kiss Lisa. Really? 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 Yeah, really. Gosh. <laughs> wow. Can't believe I get to be a part of this historical moment. Now remember, I want to see a kiss. Like that one dude did in that movie. That notebook kind of kid. <laughs> well, look, you know, you guys are going to get what you get. You know, let's not make this a bigger deal than it really is. Uh, just uh, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Is it like a tea? That's what's it. Happy Valentine's Day. What day? Was it again? Oh, how cute. Oh, Derek, it's your turn, my prince. <laughs> so what's the verdict? Well, what I was able to gather was that they're all in there playing truth or dare. Seriously. We've wasted all these hours on a stakeout to catch a couple of kids playing truth or dare. That's your big hunch, Agent 1? I think it's a big waste of time. No wonder Agent 2 wanted to get a new partner. That's a real rookie move. Look, I'm doing the best I can. Like I told the boss, I have a strong hunch that that alien is residing inside this house. A hunch. How much more time you want to waste on this? Huh? You want to wait till they start playing a game of shoots and ladders or break out a Monopoly game? Is that what you're telling me? Ah, uh, hardy, har, har. Look, I say we go back around the back of this house. We start drilling these kids with questions. I'm sure one of them would break out nervousness and start yapping away. Yeah, yeah, that's what, you go do that. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stay out here and find some kids, see if they want to play hide and seek. Then maybe I can put one in a headlock and see if he'll talk and tell me some intel. Look, let me tell you something, rookie. This is our first case together. So I'm cutting you a little slack. But I'm very close to retirement, kid. I've worked too hard. And I can't blow it for some amateur call that you want to make. You got that? I got it, but Agent 5, wasn't there any time in your career where you worked on a case and you just went on your gut hunch? I mean, I'm sure someone of your respectful high stature had to have worked off a hunch at some point in your career to get where you are. I hate it when you rookies are right. But if this goes bad, you're taking the blame. Hey, for sure. I'll, I'll take the heat. Like, I will seriously take the heat. Okay. Take the lead. All right, let's go. Lisa, Chloe, you guys can't tell anybody about this. Promise. I promise. Yeah, mom's the word. Seriously, we don't want to have Blue taken away from us and then opened up and dissected. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Your secret is safe with me, my prince. Seriously, Lisa. You gotta promise us. You girls won't say a thing. Not a soul, okay? I promise. Good luck. Don't worry, I won't tell a soul you guys are going out to Area 51. Not a soul. Not a soul. Promise. Promise. I promise. Wild horses couldn't drag anything out of me. Okay, ready guys? Ready, Blue? Did, did you see that, Agent 5? Did you see the alien and those boys disappearing in the thin air? I knew it. I saw I it. I knew it. My hunch was right. I saw it. I got eyes. <laughs> now, girls, where did that alien and those two boys go? Uh, they, they, they said they were going out to a place called Area 51 to look for their friend named Professor Y, and they were with this alien named Bloop. Please don't hurt my Prince Derek and start dissecting Bloop. He's really cute and sweet. You just have to get to know him. And please, I don't want to go to jail. I have really whoa, big whoa, dreams. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Take a breath. Take a breath. No one's going to jail. Yet. Don't mind him. He's a little overzealous. He hasn't taken his meds wait, today. Wait, 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 wait. So what, what do I do? do I, should I call it in? Yes, we need to act on this pronto. You know what to do and say, right? Oh, of course, yes. I've been waiting to say this for the longest time. Okay. All agents in base, we have a confirmation on target and a code red on base. I repeat, we have a confirmation on the target and a code red on base. Now, girls, we're going to need to have a little talk. 